right now it's uh, like it's the business for young farmers to get into. You can handle them easy. There is a lot of fallow land around here, which is cheap. You can probably can rent it. Start off small. Don't start off with 100. Usually people start 100 and get into trouble. So you learn first, then expand. A lot of uh, uh, people uh, from the Middle East. I think that's why there is an uptick in asking for lamb. Mm -hmm. I think that's why people are going more into uh, sheep. Land is the most important part of this. You need to make hay. If you buy, I think we had a thousand bales of hay, if you have to buy them for three dollars a bale, good hay, and you, when you buy it you don't know if you get good hay, that's, that's three thousand dollars and that's for 15 sheep. See, you need, you, if you have your own equipment and your own land, you can make that. What we get from the sheep, we always reinvest in the land. We have quite a bit of land, but the quality of the crop isn't as high because there is not enough manure that these sheep make to put on the land. Because the manure is gold. I think uh, three sheep to an acre. Yeah, it's like one cow to an acre and three sheep to an, to an acre. Oh, we bought it from a friend who built the, the barn. He was going out of the sheep business and Aaron always said, yeah, I would like to have some sheep. Give me something to do. So we went over there and uh, we, lo we bought 15 and then the 16th jumped on. He said, oh yeah, yeah, that's the leader. You might as well have her too. <laughs> and she's still here. Some of these sheep are probably... Well, 15 years old, I wouldn't be surprised. Right now we don't have a ram. Our ram served for three years and we sold him. And we have to invest in a new ram. A ram, it's very important that the ram's balls are big. <laughs> it sounds funny, but it's very important. You are this big. Like I think there is actually a diameter that they're looking for because otherwise it's a dud. And uh, in October, when the days shorten, the sheep become in uh, estrus. And sometimes the, the ram is not with them because we do them a certain time. And then the sheep will be staying by the gate, looking at him like, from, I want you, I want you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually the 1st of October we do them uh, and then one after the other comes into heat. And uh, yeah, this year all lambs were born within a period of 14 days, which was very convenient. Under the average of 147 days. Yeah, but some breeds are different than others. And we had one had 143 days, 144, uh, 100 and 45 is more common here than 147, but we also had 153. So it's quite a stretch from 143 to 153. If they're between 90 and 100 pounds, we, we sell them. But there is people that buy lamb for when they're 60 pounds. I think in the, they go to Ontario, and right now you get $3 a pound for a lamb that weighs 50 or 60 pounds. Well, the people would say no. I would say yes, <laughs> because I like the chicken that goes outside much better. There's taste to it, there's quality to it, and they can pick up whatever they, uh, they like. And the color uh, is usually somewhat darker and the fat is uh, a little more yellow. Watching. Yeah, don't think, don't run in and run out. Take some time to have a look how they behave. And that, that's, the, that's the real fun part of it. You, you, you learn character. It's certainly something any sheep owner, pay attention to that. It's the most damaging to your, uh, to your flock if you don't keep that under control or make sure you know what's going on. We send them to the Truro market. We just make a day of it, but you can also get a load to the Truro market, but it costs you $6 a lamb to, to take them there, plus you, you pay $10 commission at the Truro market. So you, but if you go there and you get two, 228 per pound, and your lambs weigh 100 pounds, you know, 
it's where it's going. So we feel even with the small flock uh, that we have, we, we do well. They feel on the back if there is meat on them. You might because if they're all wool, might look good, but it isn't good. Yeah. And ours weren't very big, and I remember the sales guy saying, gee, they aren't very big, but you weigh quite a bit. That was right away, the bidding started to go up and up. If they're small and they're heavy, they're good, there's meat on them. Three times we brought lambs, and three times we had the highest price that of the day, so it must be something, right? If you put time and energy in it to do the best you can, give the, the best hay that you can make, give the, always have clean, fresh water ready, keep an eye out for any sign that your sheep might be sick or mastitis or worms or whatever, parasites that is, that is a big issue, then you, you can do well. You can do very well. <laughs>